Hi there, Pisces, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of September the 7th through to the 13th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out, see what's going on for Pisces. First up, we have the Ace of Cups in the upright, <laughs> followed then by the uh, Nine of Swords reversed. And next, we have the Eight of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by the Queen of Pentacles upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana Justice in the upright. So, Pisces, for your overall energy, you have that as the Ace of Cups. Oh, do tell Pisces what's going on. A new energy. Something is opening up Pisces' heart. It could be. Well, Ace is always bringing in something new. It's a new beginning. Could be a new beginning in emotional expression. Could be something is opening up your heart here. Now, this could be, sometimes this will come because we've finally healed from prior situations. We've healed our heart and we are opening up our heart again to ourselves. It's practicing self-love, self-care. Very important. I always say that. And also for some of you, this could be you're opening your heart to a new child. Maybe some of you are giving birth this week. Some of you could be um, having a new baby come into the family. Maybe a niece or a nephew, a grandchild, a godchild or something like that. And it's just that incredible feeling of new life. It's, it could be a new pet for some of you. Maybe some of you are getting a puppy or a kitten or a, a new baby animal. And it's just really making you feel really good on the emotional front. For others of you, this could be a gift or an offer coming from the universe of a creative project. Maybe something really creative, um, creative inspiration is coming uh, for you. Maybe you'll, uh, you'll just get this creative uh, idea coming out of the anti-cosmos for you. Others of you, it's just about feeling the love. You're just feeling the love. All week, all week, because that's your general energy. <laughs> Coming right at the beginning of the week, we have the Nine of Swords reversed. Nine of Swords in the upright position. This is where we could be having a lot of sleepless nights over a lot of anxiety. Not sure what's going on there, but it's going to be different for all of you. Remember, reading for thousands of people, so it's not going to resonate for every single Pisces out there. If it resonates for you, you'll know that this is your story. If it doesn't, check your moon or rising. It might sometimes resonate more for you. So the nine of swords here is now in the reverse position pointing to coming out of a phase of anxiety. Maybe you were really worried about something, could have lost sleep over it. Could have been something about your job, could have been financial, could have been health. It could have been a family situation, a friendship, maybe a romantic situation, but you were very anxious about it. Maybe you thought about it a lot and it was disrupting your sleep. Um, but this is coming out of it. Something is easing up here. Well, we know if the Ace of Cups is your overall energy, something is definitely easing up. Love is there. You're feeling the love and it's making you feel better. Um, definitely could be a new person on the horizon for you here or somebody just sort of arriving on the scene that sort of caught your attention and is making you feel some kind of way. Now, the Nine of Swords reversed is followed by the Eight of Pentacles in the upright position. For some reason, a lot of signs got this card this week. It must be a, a worker bee card. Well, it is a worker bee card, but this is like nose to the grindstone. Maybe a lot of people are working really hard to complete some projects and things this week. Um, it is, you know, beginning of the, the fall season for a lot of people. Uh, changing of seasons, no matter where you are in the world. So uh, some people are just maybe wrapping up a lot of stuff this week, um, having to do with the prior season and getting ready for the new season, getting ready for the holidays and all of that stuff. So maybe that's why this card keeps showing up for people. This is putting your nose to the grindstone, just getting things done, just getting work done, just getting things completed. And that's what it is. You seem to be very focused on that in the early part of the week, Pisces. Let's just get everything up to par. Let's just get everything back on track. Let's get things cleared off of our plate and let's move forward. So you could be moving forward with the Queen of Pentacles in the upright position. Court card could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is Earth energy, that of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. The Queen of Pentacles in the upright position. This is somebody who's very um, strong, 
stern, very stable, got their feet on the ground, very practical. So this could even be you, Pisces, feeling like the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe you're feeling like keeping your feet firmly on the ground. Remember, we're coming off this worker bee energy. So maybe it's you just wanting to get your, your finances in a row, get your home organized. You could just be feeling very, very grounded uh, going towards the weekend. For others of you, this could be someone new that has come into your life. Maybe this person is very grounded and this person is helping or at least trying to help you get grounded. Sometimes the Queen of Pentacles can be someone who works in a bank or works with finances, could be a financial advisor, could be an accountant or something like that somebody who works with real estate. So it could be that you're dealing with the practical aspects of uh, of your life and your home and your finances and everything uh, for a couple of days there this week. Maybe you're trying to, some of you could be trying to get things in order, like get the practical aspects of your life in order so that you can get involved in either this creative or romantic situation that seems to be looming large this week. And then the last card you have is the uh, major arcana justice in the upright position. This is the Libra card. Some of you could be involved with the Libra. Uh, this is justice in the upright is good news for those of you, especially who have a court case going on or something legal in the works right now or an arbitration. This could be something the, at the end of the week, you get word that uh, justice was, you know, um, made in your favor. So that could be the case for some of you. And uh, for others, yeah, maybe you were working really hard towards completing this court case. Others of you, this could just be about fairness, balance, and justice and equality coming to a relationship or returning back to a relationship that lost its, uh, its um, fairness and balance. That can happen sometimes. We can lose balance in relationships. It could be friendships, uh, uh, Family relationships, work relationships, romantic relationships can sometimes lose their balance. And, you know, we have to struggle sometimes to bring it back on balance again. But the good news is, is it will be there at the end of the week. Uh, for those of you who had an unjust situation happening either in the family or with a romantic partner or friends or something like that, it could be that, you know, you see justice done by week's end. Maybe somebody steps in here and you know, rights the wrong, especially if it's at work. If there was an injustice done, maybe this is someone coming in, the boss or somebody coming in to set the record straight to get everything, you know, back on track. For others of you, this could be representative of poetic justice. Pisces, maybe you see something at the end of the week that you just go, ah, there we go. <laughs> Karma on you. <laughs> So whatever the situation is, interesting reading here, Pisces. I can't wait to read the comment from the comment section. But that is your reading. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.